Okay, this week in retro tech, um, this is this is kind of cool. Um, let's just uh, first let's show the commercial for it. We are the dumb hits. We are the perfect family, and we play the perfect electronic game. Computer perfection. Watch our daughter challenge her memory by lighting the lights in perfect sequence. Computer perfection beats out clues and keeps score. With millions of games in its head, we can play alone. Or against each other. I won, honey. Oh, well, nobody's perfect. Computer perfection from Lakeside. In the world of electronic games, it's outstanding. Okay, 1979, Computer Perfection. Um, this was released by Lakeside. It was a groundbreaking electronic game touted the ultimate playmate. The game, housed in a transparent blue dome, was activated by lifting the dome and uh, it revealed four games and three skill levels to choose from. The four games that it offered up were Countdown. You'd uh, try to correct, get 10 lights in the correct order with the fewest number of moves. Black Hole, another uh, one-player game. Black Hole was the same objective Countdown, but would add a twist. If you pressed an really lit button, the game would turn off all the lights ahead of it, the light itself. Um, here's a box, by the way. Uh, Brain Battle was the third game. A two-player game. One player had to turn off all the lights, starting with number one, while the other player had to turn all the lights on, starting with number six. Light Race. A uh, two-player game would race uh, to turn on more than uh, five lights. Uh, it, it wasn't supposed to be uh, a game, uh, more than a game. It was, it was supposed to be uh, something that was like half computer at the time, because this was like when computers were introduced. And it was supposed to be like a sophisticated game that was like very electronic, but also um, something kind of like a board game. Um, one neat thing about it, a little bit of trivia, it hit some major media attention. Not really, but um, back in the day, the uh, show Buck Rogers in 21st Century, in the episode Mark of the Sarin, viewers can notice Computer Perfection's distinct blue dome besides Buck, Gil Gerard's bed in the Searcher sick bay. So that is um, this week's retro tech. Um, this is the perfect family. <laughs> and oh, your heads are blue. Yeah, it was kind of it was kind of nice. This is uh, and JP is currently turning this into a uh, synth. I think that's like the Atari twenty six hundred switches. Like that's like the yeah. Like, that's what was available. You could tell. And there's like okay, we have a green LED and a red LED. Yeah, it's interesting because they're like, okay, computers are here, but we still make board games, so we have to, like, you're into computers? Well, you're going to like this. We're calling it computer perfection. Um, it looks like... Cool. Yeah, the, the enclosure is beautiful. Yeah, the blue dome. I'm surprised. Good uh, condition it's in. Yeah. Okay.